All right. First things first, I need to put this out in front. Okay? So I'm going to go x plus 5 divided into 3x cubed minus 2x squared. And we can't do the minus 8, right? Because I need an x plus 0x and then minus 8, okay? This is what you didn't do last year, okay? So we did this last year, except we never had to plug in the plus 0, okay? Yours was a little easier. Like I said, this year is the same as last year. If you paid attention, this will be easy. Okay? If you didn't, well, relearn it. Okay? Alright. Again, I want to make it exact. I want to make this equal this. That's all I'm trying to do. And since it's 1, it's x to the first power, I'm always going to be moving it over 1. Okay? If it was x to the second power, I'd be moving over 2. If it's x to the third power, move over 3. Simple, right? Okay? So I know, I'm thinking, hey, what times 1, right? What times 1 is 3? That's 3, right? What times x is x cubed? x squared. And then I multiply them. And I say this times this is 3 x cubed. This times this is 15x squared, right? Now what I'm going to do is whenever I'm going to say plus, I'm not even going to write it. I'm not even going to write it, okay? Because then I have to erase it and change it to minus. Does that make sense? Okay? So if it's minus, I'll put a minus. But if it's plus, just leave it blank. Because what you're going to do is draw the line, change the signs, and if they're blank, then minus is going there. It's a lot easier, easier to deal with. Okay? Is that been recording? Okay. So these cancel every time. And then we get negative 17x squared, and then we bring this down, plus 0x, right? And we say, okay, I know it's going to be in here. Well, times x is negative 17. So what times 1 is negative 17 is negative 17. What times x is x squared? Well, that's x. So it should, you should get a pattern here, okay? And so I know this is negative 17x squared. I just have to figure out this guy. And 5 times 17, that's a big number, right? So what is 5 times 17? Well, 50, uh, yeah, what? 85. 85, good. So it's 50 plus 35, or 85, good. So, and is it negative? Negative 85x, right? Because it's negative and a positive make a negative, right? And then we what? Draw the line, change these signs so that these cancel. And now you have a positive 85x. Then you bring this down, you go minus 8. This is a big number, right? And you would think, hey, I'm doing this wrong. But we're not. But we're not. Okay? And then what? What times x is 85? 85. So I'm going to go plus 85, and that's going to be times x of 85x. And then what's 85 times 5? That's a big number, right? So we got 80 times 5 is 400, right? And uh, 5 times 5 is 25, so 400 and 25. 
Now, is that positive? Yes. So, do I put anything? No. Okay. Draw the line. Okay, those cancel. Then I have a negative and a negative, which makes a negative, right? Because I'm adding. I'm adding two negatives, so it's getting more negative. So how much am I left with? 433, right? So what that means is minus 433 over what? X plus 5. X plus 5. That's it. That's, that's long division. Okay?